What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. Yeah, I bet your FadeawayWorld.net and Clutch Points, a lot of these sites ain't gonna have this all over plaster their websites. You know what I'm saying? It goes against the legenda. You ain't gonna see that. You know, let some obscure player that played 17 games in the NBA that they dig up and get on the payroll, say something uh, about LeBron and put him over Jordan. That's going to be one of the first articles you see. Mobutu Aguagi, former NBA player, says that LeBron is the GOAT over MJ. What do you guys think about that? But Shaq says not only is MJ the GOAT, but he don't even have LeBron in his all-time starting five in his crickets. At least so far on FadeawayWorld.net, you know. They're going to have some dude that's a LeBron fan masquerading as an objective uh, journalist talk about how it's absurd and whatnot that he's not an all-time starting five. Some BS. But anyway, Shaq recently revealed his all-time starting five, which features Michael Jordan, Carl Malone, Julius Irving, and Kobe Bryant and himself. That's his all-time starting five. So it's Shaq, Carl Malone, Julia Serving, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant. Now, I'm assuming either Kobe or Mike is the point. Now, I did, do know that Mike in the 88-89 season did play games at the point guard position. So in my mind, I'm going to put Mike at the point. Left out of this top five, is none other than LeBron, Ramon, James. When asked who is the GOAT, he said, quote, I say Michael Jordan. But you have to look at the different eras. When I was a kid, Dr. J and Kareem were the benchmark. When I was in college, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird were the best. When I got to the NBA, Michael Jordan dominated. Then came Kobe and LeBron. But to me, the greatest of all time, is Michael Jordan. <laughs> well, well, well. I guess the LeBron Brigade thought they had a friend in Shaq. Has he been real praiseful of, of uh, LeBron over the past several years, you know? But, you know, I suspect... I'm not going to say that it's, it's, it's not his honest opinion, but, you know, that little statement recently where LeBron shaded sort of Kobe and Mike by one-on-one -on -one play ain't real basketball, you know, people know that's pretty much a knock. That, 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 that People can see through this dude, man. So, you know how he is. LeBron, he's always in his feelings. If you don't suck up to him, he's such a narcissist. That if you don't kiss his ass, he sees that as an insult. That's what happens when you've been conditioned to believe that you literally are an uncrowned king, that you're royalty. That's what happens when you've been having your ass kissed since sixth grade, the sixth grade. That's what happens. You become entitled. And I hate to say this, but a lot of his fan base is are entitled. They think they're entitled to my opinion being theirs. And if I show any, if I have any opinion they don't like, they take it personal. It's not just that they're a cult. They're collective assholes. They all, not all of them, there's some great LeBron fans, but more and more of them share the same traits. They're entitled uh, as far as they think that all attention should divert to Le LeBron. Uh, they're spoiled because the La media, which dominates the basketball's landscape, focuses on him 24-7. So any objectivity to them seems like you're hating on LeBron James. Just even praising other players 
is a personal affront to them. All con all attention should be aimed at their guy. They also have this weird elitist mindset. Like, I don't get it. These guys will say stuff like, oh man, who cares what this guy thinks? Man, he's a YouTuber. You know, LeBron's a billionaire. This guy, what does it have to do with basketball? Nothing. It has nothing to do with basketball. Oh man, this guy, he, he, uh, who is this guy? Uh, 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 who is this guy? Uh, uh, LeBron worth $1.4 billion. Uh, uh, oh man, who, who are you to talk about uh, who's the best? Who the, what does a net worth have to do with a goddamn thing? If that's the case, Donald Trump is the greatest president of all time. If, if, if net worth is what factors into these things. We're not talking business. We're talking basketball. I, 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 I'm telling you, I hate most of their fan base. I do. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I hate 90% of their fan base. They're, they suck. Now, to be honest with you, if you ask me what my all-time starting five would be, it would be Wilt. Probably Tim Duncan. Larry Bird. Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson. That's my top five. I mean, all time starting five, I should say. And my goal is Will. Another guy who gets hated on, you know, terribly. Terribly. You know, I just saw Tim Legler said that there's only three guys that should be in the GOAT debate Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kareem, which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And usually the knock on Will is he didn't win enough championships. He didn't win enough. And then my reply to that is, name somebody else outside of the Bill Russell dynasty that won titles. There was a star. Name somebody. Name somebody from the mid-50s until 19, early 70s when Bill Russell played. Name any other superstar that was winning multiple titles. Name them. Wilt was the only one to get more than one. Jerry West got one. Oscar got one as a supporting player. Never negates on, on how people rank them. Bob Pettit got one. Never affects his, his legacy. People say, oh, well, I mean, yeah, but he had to contend with the Bill Russell dynasty. But well, Will, he was supposed to single-handedly beat an entire dynasty by himself. I don't get it. And also, it didn't have the benefit of free agency back then. So, I, you know, I don't get how he was supposed to win multiple championships with, let me see, Guy Rogers, Tom Gola, and old Paul Arizon. I don't I don't understand how he was supposed to do that in the, with the Philadelphia Warriors. Now you can criticize there were certain games in certain years where they should have did better. But anyway, I don't want to make this about Will Chamberlain. You know, I don't have a problem with Michael Jordan being perceived as a GOAT. He definitely has a resume and the game and the accomplishments and the skill set to ver to, to warrant that. Uh, LeBron is a media manipulation. Man. He, he, he's a, or should I say a media, somewhat a me of a media creation. Is he great? Yeah. But a lot of this is, well, you know what? I'm not going to go into all this stuff. A lot of this stuff, a lot of his hype is media creation a lot of it you know um he's the first to do this he's the first that he's all-time leader in this he's well yeah i mean if you if you manipulate the rules to soften the game to the point where a guy like him doesn't have to exert himself anymore on on defense he's allowed not to really play much defense um michael jordan as a 40 year old was expected to play defense as a wizard and he did 
which obviously took away from his offense, hence why his scoring average dropped considerably, why his uh, efficiency went down incredibly as a offensive player, but that never put into the equation. Um, you know, LeBron basically gets to whatever situation he plays in. It's always the system, even in the Olympics. He didn't have to sacrifice any damn thing. Everybody else has to sacrifice around him. So his numbers should have an asterisk. Not to mention the other stuff that we suspect him of that I can't talk about on here. Uh, no, he's not. He's not the GOAT. And I put Larry Bird over him tit for tat too. As far as skills, LeBron has him on athleticism, longevity, and strength. Anything else? Maybe ball handling, I guess. And even that's and that's exaggerated. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it. That's what you got. To